In this video, we want to see how to use images in a Power BI desktop report from a picture web URL. And this is Excel Magic Trick 1364. If you want to download this file so you can follow along, you can click on the link below the video. Hey, last video, we actually saw the same example. We have images from web address, and we needed to show them in Power View using Power Pivot Data Model. But in this video, we want to see how to do this in Power BI Desktop. Now, Power BI Desktop is a free download, which is like an all-in-one tool for data visualization. It contains Power Query, Power Pivot, and powerful visualization tools. Now, before I close this file, because this file actually has the source table we're going to import into Power BI Desktop, that's what the icon looks like. You have to go search Google, download Power BI Desktop, and then click this icon. I went ahead and clicked, and we'll open up Power BI Desktop. Now I'm going to Alt-Tab. I'm going to close this Excel file, because we're going to use this as the source to import that table. Now over here in Power BI Desktop, this, in essence, is the dropdown for all that we do in Power Query over in Excel. This is where we see relationships. We don't have any tables. That's where we see the tables. And this is where we create our visualizations using these items over here. Now, this video is simple. All I want to do is import and then show some pictures in Power BI Desktop. We're going to go to Get Data. And our data happens to be in Excel. I'm going to click Excel. And there's the file you should have downloaded. I'm going to double click this. Now, it shows us the different objects over in that Excel file. I only want the table. And the table has that blue line at the top. I'm going to click Edit. This will bring it into the Power Query Editor. Now, we don't really need to do anything here. All of the data types are fine for us. We actually will have to do something to suggested retail price and the web URL after we load it into the data model. That name over here is fine. There's our steps. I'm going to come up. And over in Excel, it's Close and Load. Over here, it's Close and Apply. Now we can click on the Relationships button. Well, we don't have multiple tables, although in our next video, We'll have the same image table and lots of other tables, and we'll see how to do relationships. There's the table. We do need to do a couple of things. I need to click on Suggested Retail Price. Over to Modeling. And in Formatting, I want to click the drop down and point to Currency, English. Two decimals is fine. And here, we need to make sure and indicate to Power BI Desktop that this is actually connected to an image. So I select the column, Modeling tab, Properties, Data Category, and we want the dropdown for Image URL. Now, we can click on the Visualization button right there. There's our blank canvas. Over here, there's the Visualizations. Here's our table and the fields. I'm going to click on multi-row card. There it is over there. I'm immediately going to come over and check products. I can see the product names. Suggested retail price and picture web URL. Oh, look at that. It's starting to emerge. I can click and drag to expose, drag to the side. And look at that. There are our pictures. I'm going to click somewhere in the white and come over and get a slicer, clicking on the icon for slicer. Now I'm going to come over and check IDCOM for company ID. Our next video will actually have a relationship and show the actual company name. But watch this. I can check this. Boom, there it is. I have filtered. There are the specialty kites. There's the gel boomerangs. Our kites juggling items, and there are our yo-yos. I can click the eraser to show all. Back over to our Colorado boomerangs, and there you go. How to show images in Power BI Desktop. Now stay tuned. Our next video will be a comprehensive Power BI Desktop example where we import multiple tables, have relationships, build measures, and even use some images. All right, we'll see you next video.